Hey guys, this is Troy the Able Farmer. Please excuse all the crowing and gobbling going on here. But I came out today to check the quail. And I got some good news and I have some bad news. Um, I got the quail late in the fall. And the amount of sunlight wasn't right to trigger them to begin egg production. And also for the roosters to crow. And we've gotten to the point this year where they have begun to lay eggs, where they've begun to lay eggs, and the rooster started crowing. But the good news is, we got our first egg. There it is. <laughs> I'm real excited to try that. I'm really excited to try those, and um, and that's excellent because I haven't have been feeding them all winter long, and haven't got a single one. I haven't got the electric out to this building to put artificial light in here to trigger them to begin laying eggs. However, at the same time, my roosters have begun getting aggressive and overnight they have been beating each other up terribly and I need to get them out of there and process because they are gonna kill each other. And um, so that's what we're gonna do now is where you're gonna butcher these quail. So if you have a problem with seeing animals die or um, or harvesting our own food and butchering then this video might not be for you and you might want to change it now however uh, that's what we're going to do here today so I got the girls out here and they're gonna they're gonna help and let's let's get started Alright guys, we're ready to go. I've got my first quail here. Uh, you can see he has no feathers on the back of his head. And he's never actually walked right. So I feel like we need to take him out because uh, he's getting trampled on in there. And they've, they've really started turning on him in the last few days. So this is our trial run. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Alright guys, to dispatch them, I am going to use some quality uh, poultry shears and make the process really quick. Um, we're going to flip him upside down so he calms down. He should calm. And we're just going to make this real quick. And... And he's dead, like that. So we just got some some nerves, so a little bit of twitching. But he no longer feels anything. What do you think, girls? And that's how it dies when you. All right, it's completely relaxed now, and we're gonna go just take the feet off. Here. Done. It hurts. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, I'll put that up. Are you sad? Yeah, it looks like it's dead. It is. It's dead. Yeah, because it's. We're gonna dead. take the wings. You're gonna and cut those off. We're gonna cut the wings. Uh, wings are good to eat. What are they? Yeah, but there's not much meat. Not not much meat on a wing on a quail. Uh, when it's in the when the wings are in the bucket, the it's kind of this weird one. Daddy, it's not really that. Gross. What is that? I uh, don't know. Nikki. This came out of his butt. Ew. <laughs> disgusting. It's really disgusting. Um, you can see some feathers just pulling out a little bit. Ow. Do you? All right, there it is. Now. Now we are going to. Now it's it's like a bodyless <laughs> quail. Yeah. Just a bodyless quail with nothing on it, except. There. The we're gonna body. peel this part. Uh, oh, what is that? That's the breast meat. Awesome! How do you do that? <laughs> How can you do that? Ooh. 
That so hurt. I'm guessing we're just doing that. We're just gonna pull all the skin off. Why? Because it's dead. Skin just peels right off of it. Because when you just pull it. We we can't eat the skin. Nope. Because that will be disgusting with feathers on it, and that is gross for you. And you'll get even sick. We'll get sick. You, you, can, you can't hospital. eat the head, that's weird. <laughs> oh, there's a little hit wings. Oh, look at that. I know. Is there a The bump? The bump right there? That's the clock. What? What's that clock? This? The clock. That's a clock. That's a clock. Oh my god, this is so little. Look at that. <laughs> look at that little thing. It's tiny. That was tinier meat than I thought. Was it? Would you like to just take over this channel, Olivia? I don't care. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Yep. Alright. So there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Take the neck off. Oh my god! So you got the esophagus and here. The quail has no skin and no, no feathers. And no head. <laughs> no legs. It looks weird looking. <laughs> Alright. Give me my scissors. Uh, okay. Alright, we're going to try to butterfly this. How are you going to butterfly it? You cut right up its back. What? And then that'll expose everything on the inside. Oh, wait a minute. Daddy. So here's the little spine. Spine? Ooh. Ooh, what sound is that? Cutting the turkey to you quiet. You can't cut it. Cutting the turkey like, um, Are you trying to be careful so you yep. don't do it too hard? Well, you don't want to nick the guts inside. No. What happens if you do? You get stuff in your meat that you don't want in there. What stuff me? The guts. You don't want the guts in it. Why do you make it like a little rectangle? Oh my god, that chick is weird. Oh, it's not a chick, it's a quail. The quail is weird. Here we have one Alright, so there's the spine. We'll now pull we'll that up. Spine. We don't want to eat the spine. There. What? How does the spine attach to the neck? Now, you can open this bird up. And you can see what things. What's those worm things? That's the guts. Oh. Where's the gizzard? Where's the gizzard? I don't see it anywhere. Does it have a little small gizzard? Maybe kind of. And everything. Here there's the oh, gizzard. Oh my god, that's so tiny. <laughs> Everything's so tiny. Are we going to open the gizzard up? Are we gonna there do you that? got the little gizzard. The oh, liver. Oh, the turkey. Hey, I'm trying to do a video here, guys. There's the gizzard, the liver, and the heart. Everything just pulls on out. Yeah. What about the heart we're going to eat? Yeah. Or the guts we're not going to eat. Yeah, we're not eating the guts. That's, nope. That's disgusting. Uh, we're just going to clean the blood bit. out. You got to make sure you get the lungs because the lungs are disgusting. They're hard. <laughs> and they're hard. The lungs are hard to get out, just like in a chicken. Got to kind of scoop what? them out of there. Can't. No, the lungs are so tiny. All right, we got it. No. Let's check it. Ooh, what is that purple stuff? Some purple? Yeah. Hey, Daddy, what's that purple stuff? Oh, it's just a little bit of blood. Okay. So we got some feathers on it here, but be fine. All in all, Daddy. that's Daddy. it right there. Move. Here I have a quail that's been really beat up. You can see the top of his head right. is all bloody. Or they've been picking on it. And uh, I, this quail will not make it if I let it go. So I'm going to process it and go ahead and, and get rid of it um, before the meat, before we lose the meat. Oh. So we're going to do, go ahead and process this little guy. I think he's scared. I think he's scared. 
So we're going to take the shears, put it right around his little neck here, and as quick as we can. And we're done. So I got. He is dead. He's dead and he is no longer feeling anything. It's that quick. Which is what we want as homesteaders. We want the animals to have one bad day and for it to be quick and as painless as we can. It was over in about a half a second. So you're going to see the nerves twitching and until the body relaxes, but there's no connection to the brain, so there's no pain, there's no sensation of anything. We're just allowing the nerves to come come down and relax. And we're about there now. Alright, I think you can feel it. You can feel when they completely relaxed. There's nothing left. And that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit more of this neck off. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these little legs, these legs off here. There at the joint, off, I like the sound effects that we got here girls. Yeah. Here at the joint, off, stop. Come on, we gotta respect. We gotta show respect to the animal. Yeah. We have to it be gave his life for us, okay? okay? We have yeah. to be We're gonna go at the first wing joint. Snip that wing off. We don't need the wing. Uh. We're here at the first wing joint. Snip that wing off. And we're gonna sit these down. And we are going to. We're going to skin it. So you get right here in the middle of the chest and pinch the skin real tight and you just pull and it'll pull apart. Now you see the breast meat in there. And we just pull the skin. Skin's nice and easy, just like a rabbit would. And pull it. Wing through. Feel it releasing. And it tastes like our chicken. Yep, like a little chicken in it. Or a duck. Because we did one before. The tail's kind of hard. <clears throat> um, Daddy, what is that at the end of its tail? What's that? This. No, it's hard. What is it? Is it like came out of its butt or what? No. Okay, how are we looking here? Pretty good. Let's just rinse it off. All right, we're now gonna butterfly this guy. And to do that, take your shears. Get the feathers off of it. And we're gonna go right up its spine on each side. Try to keep, you can feel, try to keep that bottom blade up against the spine so you don't get into its guts. I want to go inside. Might be a little bit of twitching doing this because you're going right along all them nerves. You go, you go. Okay. 
And then you need to take this spun right here. Pull it back. There we go. Now we're gonna open its back up. And everything should come out. One scoop here. Real easy. Okay. Let's get them little lungs. Them lungs are always hard to get. There. How many lungs did a, does a quail have? Two. It looked like it had Looks four. pretty good. Looks like it had four. Okay. <laughs> and there you have it. It's like a little tiny chicken. So there you have it guys. I got two quail here. I just need to uh, bring them inside, rinse them off. And they're butterflied. You could lay these out on the grill. Or you can do them in a frying pan. Or however you like. And I'm excited to have these guys for dinner. And like I said, these these guys were not going to make it. They were going to kill each other in there. And uh, and at least we put them out of their misery. And they're going to go to my family. And they'll nourish our bodies. And, and that's farming for you right there. So guys, if you could, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you like content like this, I mean, you won't see this every time. But I wanted to bring it to you because when it comes to having a small farm or a homestead, death is part of it. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.